Hello tribe, I'm Jay Salgaonkar and I'm from Palo Alto, Singapore. I work as a lead software quality engineer, helping software engineering teams to deliver robust, scalable and quality software solutions. Alongside, always keen on exploring new theoretical concepts, experimentations and implementations. I'm here to share one such theoretical learning and its implementation, which has worked for myself, my team and my organization, and I believe it would work for everyone. I'm super excited to be here. Today, I'm here to share some of my lessons learned on Agile and its implementation in Agile software delivery. I'm aware it's a very wide topic and literally impossible to cover in our allocated time span. I'll be speaking specifically about scrum ceremonies and cognitive engagement of developers with testing role or quality engineers in the team. We all are familiar with the Agile ceremonies. Backlog grooming, sprint planning, story kickoff, stand-ups, retrospective, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In every ceremony, we talk about user story, its development, its implementation, and the incremental. In which ceremony do we talk about testing? Bazinga! Absolutely right. In all the ceremonies, the key takeaway of this video is set of questionnaires which shall help the responsible devs with the test role or the quality engineers of the team to be prepared from the quality aspect of software delivery per ceremony. Ash Coleman says, the best way of implementing testing in an agile software development is by evolving the development process to include the governed quality checks in each stage where a decision will be made. Quality engineers, serves a unique role in the project team. When included as part of the product team, can amplify the product quality. Through thorough testing and guided practices, the quality engineers can manage quality, implement the standards of quality of the products and monitor its success throughout the process. Let's see how this done sprint by uh, ceremony by ceremony. The first ceremony we'll go through is the inception or conceptualization. During the product conceptualization, it's essential all parties involved share the same goal and understand understanding of the business outcomes. It's a great platform to gain, share knowledge on quality de deliverables to set the expectations and the standards. Quality engineers can ask certain questions in the ceremony and these questions could be based on reviewing the requirements, ask clarifications, questions, extract information to set a quality standard, create a plan outlining the product testability, implement a structure to realize the quality. All that questions needed to set all these five key points are welcomed in the ceremony. Let's talk about the second ceremony, backlog grooming. A typical agenda or for discussion in this meeting is all about user story. A user story is valid, a use case is relevant, what is the impact of the user story, and how much time will it take to build the solution. From a quality engineering perspective, we shall try to find answers to the following question. What are the dependencies of developing this solution? What determines the testing timeline? Accurately determine the testability of each component which has been built. Expose scopes shortcoming. When quality engineers are involved in backlog grooming, it drives stakeholders to consider quality earlier, even before the product itself begins to develop. Let's talk about the third ceremony, which is the key ceremony of all. One of the most versatile meetings that exists within Agile. It's a place of recalibration, commitment, and ideation that involves all members of the team. A typical agenda uh, in the sprint planning is outlining the details of the user story, calculating the measures, agreement on the acceptance criteria. From the quality engineering perspective, this seems to be a, the, the, the key, the, the critical, most critical event in that uh, sprint phase. We should ask questions to confirm if all the acceptance criteria are testable. We should ask about edge cases and their priorities. State approach to testing and state as stated in the test plan, that's, that's the key. So the test plan that was built before is it still applicable or do we need any enhancements to it? Amazing questions to be asked. Let's talk about the fourth and very interesting phase of the sprint, which is the actual work. 
right? The story kick off or the working on the story. The feeling of walking out of the planning meeting with all the details to begin work on a project is shocking. From the moment planning ends to when the ticket is pulled and it's ready for development, more information will be available. This new scope may contradict the assumptions team made in the planning phase. The neutral evaluation may come from a wider range of events, such as tools and tech upgrades, uh, updates from clients, browsers, devices, deprecated processes, etc., etc. We, 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 this the, the list is never ending. At the start of the sprint, or even with the a, any user story, the discussion should happen between these three amigos. And who are these three amigos in the sprint? They are not. They are, they are product owners, developers, and the quality engineers. In order to realign expectations, this includes finalizing the acceptance criteria, discussing changes to initial development plans, key testing approaches, and any other information that makes the execution of this user story crystal clear. Final message to all my fellow quality engineers, as shepherds of quality feedback, quality engineers have the most to gain from the honest feedback. Everyone needs an opportunity to speak freely and provide clarity regarding the impact decision has. Breaking this down into conversations about how the team performance calculates into quality will help the team to understand some of the complex advantages of the testing in a child process. Thank you very much.